Well, good day to you. You join us on uh, a pretty wet afternoon here. The clouds have opened and it is uh, raining, a little bit wet and miserable. But that ought not to put us off. We are all indeed itching to go. Last few uh, final checks and formalities are being gone through now. There is a very good crowd in, a boisterous crowd too, smashing atmosphere. And on a day like this, in this part of the world, there is nowhere you would rather be, with or without the rain. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. So off we go then. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Well, Radamel Falcao is the one. He's been blessed with it. Falcao has given away a free kick. It's been levered clear. Pepe. He's picked him up and the finish! Cleared without complication. Now it's Falcao. Now the breakaway. Adrian Silva. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Falcao. The counter-attack is a possibility now for Monaco. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Just whacks it away. Silva clips one through. And it's hoisted clear. Brahimi. So a third of the match or thereabouts gone. And we still await the first goal. Ronnie Lopez lobs it in gently. And he heaves it forward. And it's Silva. Brings it forward. Now it's Falcao. Falcao pings it out wide. Golovin. Pumps it into the area. And that's been repelled. And it's Brahimi. About that challenge, robust but fair. Falcao, Ronnie Lopez, 
forward it goes. Tries lifting it over. He slid it through. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. And we hit half time, so now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Would you review the first half? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil then. Fabregas is fouled. Just whacks it away. Played out to the right. And it's Sidibe. And a foul. Yes, the uh, referee's given it. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Falcao. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably... Cautionary, uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. And it's Sidibe. And he's onside. And he's there to cut it out. Very well to intervene. Golovin. Falcao. Back into the middle. He's had a shot! Has a pop! Pepe blocks it, but gives away a corner. Monaco can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Herrera knocks it away. And that's been won straight back. Rodi Lopez. Deep cross. Alex Tellez boots it to safety. Aimed long and direct. Stuck out a leg for a good challenge. Well played, he saw that coming. Golovin. Away from immediate danger. Now it's Falcao. And the shot! He's got away with one there. Fabregas goes short. Herrera plays it Monaco forward. Showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now.
final seconds, this has to be it. Jemison looks to dink one in. Monaco merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. There's only one word for this, it, it's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. To the keeper, and go again. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. A uh, frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, neither side could get over the line here. Perhaps one team might be happier, but at the final reckoning, it's honours even and no complaints. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim. And